It's funny. I remember, um, you know, when I when I was in Los Angeles and I was working uh, for E Entertainment Television. I was, you know, backstage and I saw every single person puts like little clip in things. I remember the first time I saw Joan River take out on, t on live television, she popped it out and took about every, women, you know when you see women on TV and you're like, wow, Helen's got nice hair. No, I don't. <laughs> this is not my hair. But you can buy nice hair, but I'm gonna tell you, human hair. Because if you get human hair, you are able to curl it, take it to your stylist and color it, you are able to straighten it, curl it, wave it, just like you would your own hair. And our next item is from Locks in Maine. It is 12 inch clip-in extensions. So our special guest, Jennifer Parrott is here. Jennifer, I see we have chairs. Are we allowed know, to sit I, in them? I think I'm so excited. So. Should when we I, sit? When, yeah. I, when I get to sit down on television, I say, oh, it's going to be a good day. You can put your feet up. Usually I'm, just, I'm presenting jewelry, but this is exciting. Okay. <laughs> so you know, you know that I've, I've, you know, I, I, I showed you, okay, so my, I'm not going to lie, I have a hairstylist. <laughs> Allie did my hair and makeup. I did not do this myself, <laughs> but I will swing around. Do, 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 do. What I have is I have the piece clipped in from here all the way to here, and then come over here and then I have a braid if I did not have this in my braid would be the skinniest puny little, little puny little run it that's would be like my ponytail. it would be <laughs> it's just it's awful <laughs> It would be it would be sad. It looks gorgeous, <laughs> and I think you oh, have in butter pecan, but you could also wear caramel ribbon. Um, that's what's nice about our shades is they're very okay, versatile. So these these are the we, the way we have these braided. I know Patty Riley grabbed this and tried to pick her color. Get, take us through the colors, sure, and tell okay. us which one I'm and wearing. And you'll see some on the models, and we'll sort of reference okay. people as we go. Awesome. Um, but so this is icing sugar, and you'll see that on share this is, later. By the way, the coolest hippest Instagram color Isn't that it? the twenty year olds are doing it's that true. platinum. It's true. Right? The Beautiful yep. color. This is vanilla. So this is our lightest blonde. Um, right. And it's a bit more golden. You'll see so on the warmer side. Right. This is cinnamon bun, um, which again is uh, a really light blonde, but it's got sort of honey highlights I feel throughout. like that's what I'm wearing. You, you could if you went a little lighter. Oh, You're a bit oh, on okay. the darker, but oh, same okay. sort of uh, I hue, shade family. One, yeah. And then this is toasted marshmallow. That's the color I'm wearing. Ah. Um, it's a bit of a cooler blonde. So if you have right. sort of lighter blonde, ashy. you got it. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Down here is caramel ribbon. Um, which you could also wear. Right. Um, and it's it's, uh, it's a blonde that's got sort of warmer and um, low light throughout to give it that sort of multi-dimensional look. And then there's Butter Pecan, which is a shade I can also wear. Right, um, right. So it's a little bit of a darker Me blonde. Me too, well, yep. Um, and then hang on, I'm just gonna scooch <laughs> over here. This is Butterscotch, which is a beautiful color. If you um, have been, if you're dark and you've gone blonde, that's generally your color. Um, pumpkin Spice is our natural auburn color. It's okay. beautiful. Uh, this is gingerbread here, which is a mixture of our milk chocolate and our auburn. Um, this is milk chocolate, if you're sort of the quintessential brunette. Um, this is dark chocolate, which mm -hmm. is our darkest brunette. Um, and then this is espresso, our, our, our darkest hue. And then lastly, this is our salted caramel. Um, so if you're if you're gray and with sort of um, right. some other low lights and highlights, that and, would and be these your shade. Are, these are uh, a 12 inch clip-in extensions. You get two of them, right? Exactly. Should I take mine out? Well, you Let know what? Me. We're gonna look through the colors. Oh, There's all these colors. I love that perfect. you're gonna take yours out. Ice and sugar, <laughs> caramel. Um, I, again, I could wear butterscotch. I could do caramel ribbon. Exactly. I, you know, and I could do. It's important to right. know the match with the ends of your hair. The, yes. So, and, and you can always go a shade up or a shade down. And if you're doing it just for volume and not length, um, yeah. you can choose any color. So if you if you if your hair is the same length as the extensions, you could if you've never had balayage or highlights, you could go with a lighter shade just to have right. fun just with to get, it. And it would look almost like ombre because exactly. it would look lighter and without damaging your own now, hair. Now, she's going to do it live on TV. So, here's the thing. So, we call it 50 seconds to fabulous, putting it in. When we take it out, we say, like, five seconds to not so fabulous, because then <laughs> it's be you, yeah. see, you see what I'm working with. And it's funny, I was saying earlier, my hair actually, for some reason, looks thicker on TV. Like, you can see my hair. It is so baby fine. Yeah. Um, but when I see it, we I'm like... To, we have similar hair. We do. Uh, we, I have a lot, a lot of it, but of it's it, baby but fine. Baby and fine. also, because I'm on TV every day, curling it, it Using damages it. Tool. Exactly. But I, you're, when you put in extension pieces, it, it takes a lot of the brunt of the heating and everything. You got it. Yeah. Exactly. So this is... Oh my gosh, this is always such a bad look with the clip on my head. But I just want to show you um, sort of what comes. You get two pieces. This is the smaller of the two that goes at the nape of the neck. So I I've made a part line. It doesn't have to be even, doesn't have to be neat, as right. long as they're secure and hidden. And what's so great about our clips is they point up. So when you get them home, you'll think this is bizarre because normally they, they point downward. But if you just shimmy and go up into the part line, 
apply a little bit of pressure. You'll hear a clip. So you don't have to tease at the you root. You don't have to tease. Because if they go the other way, you have to tease at the root. Exactly. And you know, you'll also see when I'm putting them in my hair, it looks like it doesn't match because next to the root, my root is so dark. But once I drop the top layer, you'll see that it matches with the ends. So this is, sorry, the larger piece. And that's the only piece I have in my hair, by the way. Yes. I am just wearing the larger piece. That's all that I'm wearing. Yeah, and that's go, giving me, and I, what I wanted is to do the braid. I wanted the thickness. And, and I, you know, I, I don't have it. You know, you want to do that little fish tail. Look at all that hair. Yeah. This is not mine. It looks so <laughs> gorgeous. I, and I, we were live on Facebook for my first hour and people yeah. were commenting, I love your hair today, Helen. Oh, you're like, thanks. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, it's available. It's, it's mine, kind of. <laughs> kind of, I borrowed it for <laughs> the show. Of. And the great thing to note too is if it doesn't match, you can take it to your stylist. Because it's human hair, you can cut it, you can color. Oh, there's, right. I think, my Where did you do your before after. and after, Jennifer? Yeah, you'll see, um, you'll see exactly how thin my hair is when there's no wave in it. Um, and it makes just such a big, big difference. Um, yeah. And I just feel, I, I mean, you probably know the same. I feel so self-conscious about my hair. I always have. Um, and you see celebrities and movie stars and their hair looks so gorgeous. Right. But 90% of them, it's not there. It's not there. But let me tell you the big difference between this brand. This is human hair. Now, we have other brands and maybe you've shopped out in retail. There's, there's choices, but it's human hair. What's the difference? You can curl it. You can style it. You can color it. it. So it's not like, well, what do I do to this hair? It's human hair. This is 100% human hair. And for $130, it's on sale. So it was $146. It's five flex pay. Take a look. So this is so neat. So this is our model, Cher, who's so, so beautiful. And she's wearing icing sugar. And what's really neat is she uses like a purple conditioner on her own hair to give yes. it that lavender hue. So we used it on the extensions uh, just so it would match perfectly. Right? And it just takes so well. And you'll see in our other model later, Laura, we uh, use vanilla and we toned it. So you can just, you can customize it. You can take it to your stylist and have, you know, customized pieces. And we know Laura here. Laura we is know a model Laura. here. And should we, God, should it we looks put it so. Into yeah, I was hair, gonna say, let's do that. You know, Laura, are you wearing it? Really? It's so hard to even see. It's so natural looking. Doesn't that right? look great? What color is Laura wearing? So she's wearing the vanilla that's been toned. But what I want to show is sort of the versatility because she can also wear toasted marshmallow. Oh, okay. So what I'll do is I'll spin Laura around. Hopefully, I don't make her dizzy. Okay, there we go. So you can see, like, look at how amazing that looks. And what I'll do is I'll start taking them out. And again, I have both pieces. Um, or Laura has both pieces in her hair, but you can go ahead and you okay. can just have the one piece right. if you want, like you, if you just want to do a bit of volume. Right. Um, I, I like the two pieces. Right, they, they, came, they you... came with it, but again, you know, I, I full disclosure, I, Allie did my hair for me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know so. what, that's okay. And so that's, it's crazy how, you know, it, you couldn't tell before that she had them in it all. And this is the vanilla that's been toned, um, but then this is, the color that I'm wearing, toasted marshmallow, which is also gonna work. Right, that also completely so, works. Yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of versatility, and I just wanna show. Um, I think, Jennifer, if, if I get one thing across during this presentation is, Almost every woman you see on TV has some sort of hair something going on. You it really, it. you know, it's not like, no, hardly anyone does. Almost that's everyone does. I, I don't, I think that's one of the things. The takeaways. Well, well the <laughs> takeaway from this presentation is like yeah. when you see the women on Instagram or the, the movie stars or the yeah. people in TV series, whether yeah. they're 20 years old or 50 years old or 70 years they've old, had, well, they, they're like, wow, she's 70. Look at her full, amazing thick exactly. hair. Uh, no. It's not hers. <laughs> I'm talking we, about myself too. I mean, I, I wear, I have hair clip on things yeah. that I, that I wear and I, I'm not gonna tell you what hosts, I'm not gonna let them tell you how many, <laughs> but let's let's say a very high percentage. <laughs> let's oh put it that way. Oh my gosh. You well, know, and models, and the models, models too. Laura knows this true. Yes, like the models and the models. I know the models. You know, it, it's it's the easiest thing you can do. It's a very youthful look because when yes. you're young, your hair is fuller and thicker. And as you get older, and I know we talk about men have your hair thinner, but guess what? Ladies, ladies it happens to yes. us too. You know, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm 57. I keep thinking. You look phenomenal. I, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Three years away from 60. But what do you think? You think it, yes, girl. <laughs> so I'm saying that thinning hair is one of the things that happens in a way to look more youthful. You know, you're not in your head. You know what I'm talking about? Is to <laughs> add hair. You know, it's the best 130 bucks you'll ever spend. Exactly. <laughs> right? And you just feel so confident and you feel finished right. and you feel polished. Um, and I actually, I started the company when I was on maternity leave with yeah, my son. Yeah, tell everybody that story. Well, you're on just, maternity leave with your son yes. and you started the company. I started, well, I've always struggled with fine thin hair and I've always looking 
for you know a cost-effective solution um, right. that that looks natural um, and that's easy to do. And so I, when I was on maternity leave with my son, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. It's now or never. If it doesn't work, I'll, I'll go back to my job. Right. Um, so I started in a little hundred square foot pop-up just to sort of test it to make sure that it right. was viable. And you never went back to your and job. And it turns out ladies love hair. <laughs> ladies <laughs> love hair. By the way, Laura, you have to get these. <laughs> these I are like know. amazing. Don't they look All right. Wrong. Now we're going to take a listen and hear some people's experience using locks in Maine. And we'll be right back. They go in so quickly. I don't have to take any extra time in the morning. It goes in, it comes out just the same way, and uh, they're secure. Honestly, I've wanted long hair all my life, and I've never had it. So at 58, having long hair is one of the best things I've ever done for myself. Locks and mane, rocks. <laughs> I call this my miracle in a box. Right, I mean, if your whole life, I'll tell you, when I was growing up, oh, she wanted long hair her whole life. I wanted soap opera hair. I used to watch, right? I used to watch the soap operas and I had like two strands of hair. I was like, why don't why do my hair look like that? What can I do? Maybe if I, maybe if I, do, you know, if I brush it a hundred times at night, everything, no. Mm -mm. When you see the people on TV, they've bought some hair, but it's human hair. I will tell you, the celebrities are not buying synthetic hair. No. No, because it's <laughs> just being honest it. with you. And we do have some synthetic hair that is, is cool and it's nice and it is less expensive. It's great for like a one or two time wear type of I, thing. I is, get the human hair. This is an that's, investment. That's it'll what I last use. you. That's yes. the thing. It, it'll last you. We always So here say, are the colors. Tell oh, us, Jen, for what we're looking at. Okay, so Butter Pecan um, is a color I can also wear. Um, it's a blonde with low lights throughout. Caramel Ribbon is a beautiful blonde, um, which you could also wear with low lights. Cinnamon Bun is one of our warmer shades um, right. with honey sort of low lights throughout throughout. Toasted Marshmallow is the color I'm wearing. It's sort of a, an ashier, uh, cooler blonde. Vanilla is our lightest shade. Um, and then in the darks, we have Espresso, our darkest hue. Dark Chocolate is our, is our richest uh, brunette color. Milk Chocolate is sort of that quintessential brunette. Gingerbread is a beautiful mix of our pumpkin spice and milk chocolate. Um, butterscotch, we always say, if you are dark and you've gone light, that's usually your color. Right. Um, and then we have our, our beautiful grays. We have our salted caramel, um, which is if you're brunette and you've gone natural, that's likely more your shade. And then icing sugar, if, you, if you're lighter naturally mm -hmm. and you've gone natural, that, that's your shade. You know, the other thing is, if you can put in a hair clip, you can put these in. If you can put a barrette yes. in your hair, you can put these in. These are very easy, but when they get them